Hello, and welcome to my video where I create a lantern out of a wood gas can stove. Uh, so what do you do when you've created a can stove that has this beautiful flame uh, and is a very efficient burner um, and can boil water in five minutes? Uh, well, when you're done with cooking your dinner, you can sit here and enjoy the warmth um, and you can look down into the into the uh, flame. But unfortunately, not a lot of light comes out of this uh, type of stove because it requires uh, that your pot stand stay on to help um, equalize the flame. Uh, so I was sitting there the other night looking down at my uh, my beautiful flame that I've created and I was wishing that I could actually see that flame. So I started to wonder whether I could create a lantern out of this. I've seen uh, porch lanterns where you get a column of flame uh, from a either propane gas or natural gas uh, and they are truly beautiful uh, but I'm not so sure that their flames are any uh, better looking than the flames that are coming out of this wood gas stove. Uh, so I started off by uh, changing the shape of my um, concentrator a little bit so it could accept the globe from a hurricane lantern. Uh, so I made that a little bit smaller diameter and I made my little flutes that are helping to cause uh, my swirling vortex. I made them a little bit taller. Uh, so after I had done that and uh, warmed my stove up, I removed my uh, pot stand and then I put on my hurricane lantern globe. Um, so as you can see, it's very windy out today. Uh, when I put the globe on, uh, it immediately started to die down and I was very concerned and I was about ready to pull the globe back off uh, when all of a sudden the globe must have warmed up enough to cause a chimney effect. And you can see that it immediately started pulling that flame straight up. Now, even though it was very gusty wind, uh, you can see the flame is very con concentrated in the center. Um, of the stove and this is immediately was a very beautiful uh, flame. So the wood gas can stove that I'm using is actually a uh, quart size paint can stove. Uh, if you're interested in uh, more about the build or about the uh, development of that stove you can tune into my wood gas uh, stove science video series especially the one about building the uh, paint can stove. Um, so really, um, it's a very inexpensive, very easy can stove to build. Uh, you do It does require a little bit of precision uh, to get the type of flames uh, that I'm getting, uh, but anybody could build one. Um, so here you can see that I'm looking down into that flame, and that pulsing is caused by uh, the wind uh, that is gusting around, uh, but you can see that the flames are very beautiful. Uh, and there's the nice glow that is coming off this uh, stove. There's plenty of heat coming out of the top. You could cook marshmallows or um, just warm your hands over it. Um, so this, this type of lantern is going to give you most of the heat coming out the top um, and just light coming out. Now there was a gust of wind that blew this out and I wanted to leave this in uh, because you can see it immediately starts to smoke and that smoke is really the wood gas. And as I put my lighter down inside, you'll see that it starts that gas back up. Um, so there it is. Uh, that was the gas uh, reigniting uh, and it goes right back to burning uh, perfectly uh, straight. Uh, so you could have reignited that with a ferro rod or um, a match just flicking it down inside. It would ignite very easily. Um, so here again is a nice column of flame coming off of it. It's a beautiful light. Um, and uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, comment below if you'd like to see more, um, a little bit more developing in this uh, lantern because I would like to reduce the flame height a little bit or put a taller globe on it. Um, so uh, please comment and like and subscribe if you like this type of video. Uh, thank you for joining me with wood gas can lantern video and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.